Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see the dictionary data structure in Python. So dictionary are also the built-in structures of Python, uh, which works on a key value pair. Means you can store values with reference to their keys. Okay. Now they are uh, mutable because you can make changes to that uh, the values also by accessing the keys. So let's get started. So first of all, we are, we are going to see that how to create a dictionary. Okay. So we are going to create a dictionary for a person whose name is Alice. Then suppose I'll take the age as 25 and the city I'll take as New York. Now we have created a dictionary successfully. Now what we have to do, then we have to print the name of the dictionary that is person and you will see that your dictionary has been printed. Now, first of all, you will start with a curly braces because dictionaries are always inside the curly braces. Then, how you will give the values? First, you will give the key. And that could be anything. It's not necessary that the key will be a string value only. It could be any value. It could be a integer value also. Suppose. Like this, okay? So it's not important that it the value should be in a string, the value could be, it is heterogeneous, it's, uh, dictionary is also heterogeneous, okay? Now, first of all, you will write the key, then followed by the colon, you will separate key and values with a colon. So you have given the key, then you will give a colon, and then you will give your value. And if you want to enter one more value, a key value pair, then you will give one more comma here, and then you will give age, then colon, then the age you will give the value for the age then comma then city then new york if you have to add some more value then you again give comma if not then you'll not give any comma okay and now for printing we are just simply using the print function and we are printing the person uh, inside it and then you can see if i'll print a type also so it will come class dict as you can see class dict is it is an object of class dict okay now moving forward to example two how to access and modify elements okay now so for simply accessing what we can do we can simply write the name of the our dictionary then followed by the square braces and suppose if i want to print the name so i'll directly write the name of the key which value i want to print so i want to print the value of name suppose so i'll write name and it will get printed means the exact value of name will come now suppose i want to find the age inside the dictionary person so a is the key we know that so we will directly access the age and we'll execute our code you will see the value of name and age will get printed okay now you can do the modification also now how you will do the modification you will simply write person then you'll access the age and suppose we want to change the age from 25 to 26 so you will directly write 26 okay and now after that when i'm going to print the person you will see what is going to happen and now the age from 25 to 26 it has been changed okay so i'll just comment this line and suppose if you want to change the city also from New York to San Francisco. So what you can do simply the same thing. But in the place of accessing age, we are going to access the city like this. And then we have to perform modification. So we will use the equal operator means assignment operator and we'll assign the value to the new value. We, will, we have to directly write the new value. San Francisco. Now you will see the age has already updated. Now the city has also been updated. 
so in this way how you can access also and you can perform modification also okay now moving forward now we are going to see how we are going to add and remove elements means a proper key value pair how we can add it and how we are going to remove it so first of all for adding there is a method or you can directly add also suppose uh, we have to add a new key for zender suppose so we are going to like take this first we are going to access our dictionary then we are going to give our key name and then female okay and now we will simply print person now if you'll notice name was already there age was already there and city was already there now the gender was not there so what happened when uh here we have written gender so it look into uh, the previous dictionary person so it doesn't find gender so it created a gender with a value female okay now how we are going to remove the element so for removing we can use the pop method so removed then in the dictionary person dot we are going to use the pop method and in the pop method we are going to specify what we are going to remove the key name so suppose we are we want to remove the age age key and value pair so we are going to write the name of the key age okay and then inside the print we are going to print so for your sake i'm going to print the removed age also print remove value here and then i'm going to print the person okay and now you will see name alice city san francisco gender female and you will notice from the previous one age has been removed and here you can see we have printed the removed age also so 26 is coming and now after that when the dictionary is getting printed then you will see there is no age so this was how you can perform adding and removing a key value pair in a dictionary okay let's get forward and see some dictionary methods okay so for printing only the keys from your dictionary there is a method named keys okay so this is the method which will print only the keys from your dictionary and how you have to use is first you will give your name of the dictionary then using the dot operator you will write the method keys and this is a method of dictionary and then you are going to print the keys the object of dictionary and then you'll when you print you will see dict keys name city and center okay the same goes with the value also so there are values for printing values so we will just print values also and you can see dict values alice san francisco and female okay now there is one more method for printing the whole pair also now when uh, this is a uh, uh, method which is used to print the key value pair together inside a tuple okay so as you can as you have seen here first you have to access it then dot operator and then items and then you'll print the object of that list item and if you'll print the item you'll see dict underscore items and now you will notice one thing the key and value are getting printed inside a tuple means each pair has become into a tuple and that tuple has two values first the key name and then the value ls then same goes with city san francisco gender female okay now this was some methods now we are going to see how we can check checking if a key is in the dictionary so we can perform this checking also using the membership operator in so how we are going to check that 
सो सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू चेक फॉर नेम तो नेम इन पर्सन सिंपली इट विल कम ट्रू बिकॉज नेम इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट नाउ वी हैव रिमूव द एज एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉर एज दट एज इज देयर नॉट सो इट इज रिटर्निंग अ फॉल्स वैल्यू बिकॉज येस वी नो दैट एज वी हैव रिमूव एज सो देर इज नो एज नाउ मोर सो दैट्स वाई इट्स गिविंग अस फॉल्स ओके नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन आई टेट थ्रू अ डिक्शनरी ओके so for at writing in dictionary there are some simple ways so for key in person now remember this will only print the key suppose if i am doing this so only keys will get printed but there is a way in which you can print both at the same time so this is how you are going to print the key and if you want to print the value then what you can do first you can write value like this and then you have to access your dictionary and then you will write key over here and now when you will print you will see the key are also getting printed and their values are also getting printed so this is how uh, we know that if you have to access a uh, particular element from the key so you can give the name and then is using the square braces you can give that particular key name so now here what we are doing we are iterating the key in the person and then we are printing the key as you have seen if you are printing the key name city and gender are getting printed one by one so we have just put access the dictionary person and then we have put this key inside the square braces so what will happen each time the loop will iterate first it's going to print the key name and then this name is going to get inside the dictionary person so it will print the value of that uh, key and the same thing is happening with the city and gender also okay now there is one more way in which you we can iterate directly for printing both at the same time so we'll see that also so for key comma value in person dot items yeah we have to use the method items and then i'll show you that how it going to work so let me comment this line and then we'll print the key and then we'll directly write here value now we don't have to access using the dictionary name we are we are directly going to write the value and now you will see when i'll print uh, when i'll execute the cell you will see key name and value alice then key city then value san francisco then key gender and value female is getting printed okay so using this items method applying on your dictionary name followed by the dot operator and then you can give two values here one the key and the second value you can give the values for the values so it will iterate first the key and then the value okay now moving forward we'll see the nested dictionary that how we can give dictionaries under dictionaries and this is a very big concept when you will go further very deeply inside the python then these dictionaries are this nested dictionaries are very useful okay So earlier you have seen we have created a dictionary for a particular person for only one person. Now we are going to create dictionary for students. Okay, multiple students. So first, uh, we are going to use the name as the key. Okay, name as the key. And now in the name will be one key, and then inside the name we are going to store one more dictionary for the age and grade. Okay, so that. we'll look we'll see that how we are going to do that
then grade and i'll give the grade as a for alice then followed by the comma then second person is suppose bob then you'll again then we'll give the age and his age is 22 then comma then we'll give the grade and his grade will be b then comma then again one more name so suppose this is charlie and colin then the age we'll give the age as 21 then grade and we'll give his grade as c okay so now I'll, I, when i'll execute the cell it will work correctly no error is there and when you want to access so first of all i'll print the students for you so as you can see first alice then his age and grade then bob age grade charlie age and grade are getting printed now suppose if you want to access only alice then how you are going to access it so you will give a square versus like this and then you will write the inside a string because we have our keys are inside our keys are a string value so that's why we have to write the name of the key alice and then the values for alice will get printed the age and grade but suppose if you want to print only the grade then how you will do it now in the nested dictionaries one if you'll give one more square braces so what will happen it will go inside that particular dictionary uh, dictionary value alice and then in this square braces you can write suppose uh, you want to access the grade then in a single quotes you'll write the name of the key grade and now it will give you the exact value a now suppose if you want to access the a so in the base of grade you can give the age and it will give you the exact value 20 here as you can see okay so for storing multiple types of data where multiple key and values uh, you have to give so you can use the nested dictionaries as you can see for shooting uh, for storing the values of a student i have used the nested dictionaries and they are so useful okay so i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video